What's going on YouTube? Um, bringing it to you on a Saturday. So uh, uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about my tank and my disc spare. So um, let's start off with the tank. As you can see, these huge, huge leaves are um, actually coming out of, out, of, out, out of my banana plants. I'm sorry, can't talk today. <laughs> they are humongous. I don't know. I mean, these plants. They seem to be like they're on asteroids or something, because you can you can tell the difference in the sizes from those two big leaves compared to the one in the back, that little small one right there. Um, damn, man, those those leaves are almost the size of my hand, so they're pretty huge. Um, uh, these plants are doing okay. Uh, I'm having a little bit of an algae problem. I'm not sure what the what the, what the type of algae is. It's some sort of black algae. It might be black bear algae, I don't know. Um, uh, star grass is doing really fine. I trim off um, this that huge chunk that I had right here where the air stone is. And I um, spread it out evenly throughout this, um, this part. It looks really nice. It's growing. I like that. Uh, the Hydro Japan, I decided to move it over here. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, due to the fact that it spreads upwards it doesn't really spread you know like a carpet plant but I don't know maybe I'm doing it wrong I'm not sure uh, I got more sterogene reapings um, as you can see I have it covered with the mesh because uh, um, my turquoise is because he he just loves digging my plants out uh, I don't know what's going on with him but you know um, he just loves doing that uh, I think this plant is called uh, Pogos, Pogostums erectus, something like that. Um, I'm spreading it, you know, uh, through my tank. I love, I love the way it looks. It's really nice. Um, it grows fast too. You know, it's not really a very hard plant to take care of. Um, my discus they're doing uh, okay. I still haven't treated my blue diamond. Uh, he hasn't been eating for the last, I would say, for the last week. Um, he barely, barely eats, if anything. So, um, he seems a little better now. Uh, I haven't done anything. I tried to put some Metro in the foot a couple of days ago. He kind of ate a little. But um, he looks more, um, a little more active now. I'm not sure what that is, but... Uh, uh, I believe it has, I haven't really seen him poop, so I can't really tell what the problem with him is. Uh, yes, I have a lot of water lilies from my banana plants. There are several of them, several of them on the top. Uh, I, I don't know, I might be trimming a couple of them, not sure yet. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on. So now this is my disc spare. Um, the female is the albino, and the dad is right here. Uh, I, I, this is the third, no, I think it's the fourth, the fourth day, the fry actually free swimming. Uh, I, I accidentally lost a couple of them, you know, um, in the first days because I didn't know this is actually my first time taking care of fry. And <laughs> what worse way to start off with a. Uh, with an albino, <laughs> they're really hard to take care of. The dad is doing pretty much all the all the work. He's um, he's turning dark sometimes. You can you might be able to see the fry. Um, let me see if this thing can focus. I'm sorry, I'm I'm, on, I'm I'm in my iPad and it's not the best camera out there, so um, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can probably see one or two fry in there. All all the others are spread out because. Um, See, there's like a couple of them in there. There's like one, two right there. Uh, I had a really hard time with this, with this, um, with this fry because, um, as you can tell, they are half a vinyl, and I'm not sure if they, if the dad has any albino strains in him. I mean, genes. If he does, then uh, I might, I might get a, a a high percentage of albino fry. But the problem with albinos is that they're very sensitive to light, and you know I, the babies, especially the fry, 
I are more sensitive than the parents. Um, as you as you might be able to tell, I only have like three or four fry on him, and then the others are like half blind. See, there's like three or four of those in that corner right there. I'm sorry, the camera is not focusing. So, uh, but uh, yeah. So what I did is, you know, I I actually had to remove the sponge filters because they were black, and they were the the babies would pretty much just go to them, and I actually lost. I would say probably about five of them like that they got stuck to the sponge filter and they got sucked in they died you know I saw the bodies on the bottom so um, uh, so I decided just to put an air stone it's been working for me but I've been doing daily water changes to keep the the ammonia levels and all of that where it needs to be I will probably as the fry get older I will probably start putting a, a, another filtration in there I don't think it's gonna be a, a sponge filter it will probably be something else instead uh, I have this little, I'll show you what, I, what I'm planning on putting. I have this little um, uh, filter, like this is an old school filter that I picked up out of my local fish store. It does the, it does a really good job, but the fry kind of see some black spots in there and they also get attached to it. So that's the reason why I ended up, you know, just putting an airstone in there. Uh, so yeah, this is like the fourth, the fourth date. Um, I'm going to keep the lights on for maybe three more hours or so and then I'll, I'll turn them off and so that the fry can can see better than that uh, yeah so um, I'm really excited about those by the way I'm very happy um, I couldn't be any happier you know I hope I hope you know at least three or four of the fry babies actually make it all the way through adulthood um, so yeah um, this is how the Stalgian Ribbons carpet looks like right now. Uh, yeah, you, you can tell that this side, like this side over here, is actually, um, uh, what can you say, bigger than this side. The problem is that I got I got this two, this one, and this one I got in both from different sellers. So um, I wasn't able to get as many as I wanted from one seller because I didn't have enough. So I had to, I was forced to get. Um, the plan from two different sellers uh, so yeah thanks for watching this and I hope you guys enjoyed it um, thank you